We've got to do a little bit of work to get our UI set up correctly so we can do some animation. So go ahead and open main.storyboard, then drag out a button. I'll search a button in the object library, drag out one of these things and position it near the bottom of the screen. And I'll give this thing uh, the title of tap, like that. Now, yes, we did choose iPad landscape for our devices. We're previewing here as an iPhone XR. Don't worry about that, it'll be absolutely fine. We need to add some auto layout constraints here. So we need to drag, uh, control drag, sorry, from this tap button up to the view in the document outline and choose center horizontally and safe area. And then do the same thing again from tap to view and choose bottom space to safe area. So it'll align at the bottom center of this view, no matter what kind of size it is. That's it for our entire layout here. So we have to go to the assistant editor and create an action for that button. So I will find some space in my code and control drag from tap, oops, from tap down into the code. And I make an action called tapped and press connect. Fantastic. Now, every time you tap the tap button, we're going to execute a different animation. This will be accomplished by cycling through a counter and moving an image view. To make all that work, you need to add two more properties to the class. Up here, we're going to say var image view is a UI image view, implicitly not optional. Then var current animation is zero. So we have an image view and we have an animation counter property. Now there isn't an image view in a storyboard. We're gonna create it ourselves inside viewed load using an initializer that takes a UI image and makes image view the correct size for the image. So I'll exit the uh, assistant editor, go back to the sound editor, open view control at Swift nice and big, get rid of this right hand bar here. And in viewed load, we're going to say image view equals a new UI image view, passing in the image and we'll use this UI image named uh, penguin. Boom. And we'll do image view dot center is CG point X 512 Y 384. So about centered in our iPad and then view dot add sub view image view. So create a new image view, center it on the screen and add it to our parent view. There's one more thing we're going to do before we start looking at animations, and that's to put a little bit of code into the tapped method so we cycle through animations each time the button's tapped. So inside tapped, we're going to say current animation plus equals one if current animation is greater than seven, current animation is zero. So this is going to add one to the animation every time we tap the button until it finally goes past seven which point will go back to zero again. So it'll loop round and around and around.